Josh, Josh, it's Barbara Guilford. I do not. You just muted yourself, Barbara. We can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. I don't know if my face is on the screen along with everybody else's. Yes, it is. Thank you very much. So should I just stay where I am looking at you? Yeah, just stay like that. Don't play with anything. I won't touch a thing. Thank you. Thank you'll, you. Just, you'll just unmute yourself when it's your turn to read the names. Okay. Thanks, Barbara. All right, Rabbi Orden, one minute and I'll take down the share. Josh, will you give me a sign when it's time to start? Uh, yes. Rabbi, do you see all the squares on that picture too? Or is that just my screen? Like the picture isn't clear. What picture, Jan? The, the, the opening picture. Well, now it disappeared. I think uh, Josh has to close all the windows on top of the, yeah. Uh, the chat and all other windows. There's gray, gray areas. Squares with lines on top of the picture. It's a side screen. effect of Zoom. We can't get rid of it. You just close the, the windows. Doesn't work like that. It's no longer there on my screen. Okay, Rabbi Jordan, go ahead. Good morning. Each year, the three synagogues in Summit come together to commemorate Yom HaShoah. During this pandemic, when we have been separated and alone, it is perhaps more important than ever that we gather as one people to honor the memories of those who perished in the Holocaust. I want to thank Rabbi Avi Friedman, Rabbi Aaron Glazer, Cantor Marina Shemish, Cantor Janet Roth, and Lake Cantor Steve Wetter, as well as our young cellist on Mintran and volunteer readers from the three synagogues for participating in this service. Yeah. Josh, can you mute everybody? Thank you. I also want to thank Beth Hatikva members, Jan Bean, Shlomo Habib, and Jill Schuster for helping us to create a beautiful and meaningful commemoration for the Summit community. Of course, in our brave new online world, none of this would be possible without our tech experts. Thanks today go to Joshua Silberman for making sure that all of the Technical aspects go smoothly, and we recommend that you use speaker view for the service. The full name of the day established by the Knesset, the Israeli parliament, to commemorate the victims of the Holocaust is Yom HaShoah V'Hagvorah, the day of remembrance of the Holocaust and heroism. The commemoration honors the memories of those who were murdered in the Holocaust, and also honors those who resisted in the ghettos and those who joined the partisans and fought Nazis in occupied territories. We also honor those non-Jewish men and women who had the courage to risk their lives to save Jews. In the past few years, we have seen a rise in words and acts of hatred and violence. As a people who have experienced persecution and genocide, Jews have a special responsibility to stand up and speak out. May the memory of those who died and the courage of both Jews and non-Jews who fought against oppression, give us the strength and inspiration to continue to fight against cruelty and prejudice, tyranny and persecution throughout the world. Transgender youth, as well as their parents. And 
we begin our service with Eli Eli, written by Hannah Senesch. Eli, Eli, In the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 27, we read the following words. Ner Adonai nishmat adam. The soul of humanity is a candle to God. And so like God, we use candles to represent the souls whom we lost during the Holocaust. This morning, we will light eight candles, as is traditional, we will light six candles for the six million Jews who were victims of the Holocaust. In addition, we will light a seventh candle for others who were murdered during the Shoah. We know that those who hate do not limit their hatred to just one group of people. And then we will light an eighth candle for those who have died and continue to die in other genocides, because we know that hate did not end in 1945. For each of these candles, there will be a poem recited. The first poem we'll hear is by Hannah Senesch, the famous resistance fighter. There will be five poems written by uh, individuals who were in Terezin, one of the notorious concentration camps. There will be another poem written by John Henry Mackey, who was a gay man who lived in Germany and died under dubious circumstances in 1933, just after the first Nazi book burning. And then the final poem we will hear this morning uh, was written in 2007 in response to the Darfur genocide. So now we will begin uh, the candle lighting with poetry, with music, with flame. For our first candle, we read the poem, Blessed is the Match. Blessed is the match consumed in kindling flame. Blessed is the flame that burns in the heart's secret places. Blessed is the heart that knows for honor's sake to stop its beating. Blessed is the match consumed in kindling flame. Oh, 
To Olga by Elena Sinkova. Listen, the boat whistle has sounded now and we must sail out toward an unknown port. We'll sail a long, long way and dreams will turn to truth. Oh, how sweet the name Morocco. Listen, now it's time. The wind sings songs of far away. Just look up to heaven and think about the violets. Listen, now it's time. Candle, Avi? No? Okay. The Garden by Franta Bass. A little garden, fragrant and full of roses. The path is narrow and a little boy walks along it. A little boy, a sweet boy, like that growing blossom. When the blossom comes to bloom, the little boy will be no more. The song at Zwei Tebelach was uh, an old love song uh, popularized by Liuba Levitsky, who was a well-known opera and radio star of Vilna. For a time under the Nazi occupation, Liuba managed to hide with Gentile friends behind the ghetto walls. But when raids were made throughout the city and the suburbs, she returned to the ghetto. Yuba participated actively in the cultural folk life of the ghetto. And the first concert took place on the night following a mass raid and slaughter of some 1,500 Jews. The asphalt was stained with blood. Fear was everywhere, and they were afraid of capturing, being captured. And that night, Yuba sang Svei A year later, she was scrubbing barracks for the Germans, and during one mass roundup, she hid for a week in garbage barrels. Another time she was caught and tortured by a Gestapo official who stamped on her with his boots and pricked her body with the point of his sword. She recovered and returned to her work in the ghetto, singing for those condemned to death. 
In an attempt to smuggle through some cooked peas for her sick mother, she was caught and imprisoned, imprisoned and a monk later dragged out to be executed. She was ordered to dress, to undress and walk naked to her death. And as she walked to her death, she sang this song, Svei Taibalach. It's a love song, and yet there's an undercurrent of the Holocaust within it. The wicked man no more shall come between our love. Cursed be that wicked man. Zwei Teufel nach Sagen über den Wasser geflogen. Die Pesche nach oben sich zu spritt. Die Pesche nach oben sich gekuscht. Verschuld in so wehren. Vor jener Mensch, was hat sich unser Liebe bei Arrein gemischt? Und was du bist kommen in einer fremden Stadt, Junge, Junge, meine Rede sollst du bedenken, meine Rede sollst du bedenken. Und als du bist kommen, über die tiefen Wasser, Junge, Junge, ein Kreuz oder sollst du sich nicht ertränken. Und als du bist kommen, in eine weitere Stadt, Junge, Junge, meine Rede sollst du erkennen, meine Rede sollst du erkennen. Und als du bist kommen, in der Feier, Junge, Junge, ein Kreuz zu sollst du sie nicht verbrennen. Zwei Teufel nach Sonnen, die mir in Wasser geflogen Sie rufen nach oben, sie zu spät. Sie rufen nach oben, sie zu spät. Kein Gott im Sohn soll der Mensch nicht wollen. Was hat uns von der Liebe was so ein Geschicht? Our fourth poem, our fourth candle, The World by Franta Bass. A great globe turns about around the sun, around the stars. The globe has a name. The globe is called the world. People live on this globe. Beasts live their wild lives there. The globe has been turning for ages. The globe is surely dying. Now for the fifth candle, an anonymous poem called Birdsong. He doesn't know the world at all, who stays in his nest and doesn't go out. He doesn't know what birds know best, nor what I want to sing about, that the world is full of loveliness. When dewdrops sparkle in the grass and earths a flood with morning light, blackbird sings upon a bush to greet the dawning after night, then I know how fine it is to live. Hey, try to open up your heart to beauty, go to the woods someday, and weave a wreath of memory there. Then, if the tears obscure your way, you'll know how wonderful it is to be alive. So schön kommen a. So schön kommen diga ula is a beautiful, fun, yet heart yet complicated song. Uh, so schön means should already. 
So the chorus translates as, Our redemption should come already. Messiah, come soon already. The, the full translation you'll find in chat, as well as the transliteration of the, of the Yiddish chorus. The lyrics uh, are written by Shmerka Kaczerginski, who escaped the Vilna ghetto and joined the partisans. Among other accomplishments, he's the most important transcriber of Holocaust songs. He was deeply committed to preserving Jewish culture. Zolshoin Kumendiga Ula is not a messianic prayer. In fact, it's, it's deeply ironic. By the time Katcher Ginsky wrote it in 1949, the Messiah would already have been, as the second verse says, a bisalet a little bit too late. Our combined choirs have sung Zolshoin many, for many years on Yom HaShoah, and even though you're muted, I hope to see you uh, singing along with a chorus at home. Let me just tweak this just a little bit for my own sake. On gezolie teufen harzen, macht men ole chayem, oi derum et lots nid ruen, zingen mir a lied. Is nid tok kein bissel bronfen, lomer trinken maim, maim chayem is doch chayem, vos darf nach, vos darf noch der jid. Oi, 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 zol schoin kumen diga ulla, zol schoin kumen diga ulla, zol schoin kumen diga ulla. Moshiach, kum shoin bal, oi, a zol shoin kum en diga ula, zol shoin kum en diga ula, zol shoin kum en diga ula, Moshiach, kum shoin bal. Sis a dorf un kule chayel, seid nit kein ronem, un fun zindikin, Moshiach gicher kum en vet. Ach, du Tatela in Himmels, beiden bnei Rachmonem, se Moschiach soll nicht kommen, a bissel zu spät, oi, 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 soll schon kommen, diga ula, soll schon kommen, diga ula, soll schon kommen, diga ula, Moschiach, komm schon bald, oi, soll schon kommen, diga ula, soll schon kommen, diga ula. Zol shoin kum en diga ula, Moshiach kum shoin bald. Stanzen beimer in die Wälder, Stern auf den Himmel, Reb Yisrael der Merchuden, Dreht sich in der Miet. Svet sich auf den Kinn, Moshiach, Fun sein tiefen Drimmel, Wenn er wett der Herren, unser Tafile die Galid. Oi, 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 soll schon kommen die Gaule, soll schon kommen die Gaule, soll schon kommen die Gaule. Moschiach, komm schon bald, oi, soll schon kommen die Gaule, soll schon kommen die Gaule, soll schon kommen die Gaule. The Sixth Candle, Fear by Eva Pikova. Today, the ghetto knows a different fear, close in its grip. Death wields an icy scythe. An evil sickness spreads a terror in its wake. The victims of its shadow weep and writhe. Today a father's heartache tells his fright and mothers bend their heads into their hands. Now children choke and die with typhus here. A bitter tax is taken from their hands. My heart still beats inside my breast while friends depart for other worlds. Perhaps it's better, who can say, than watching this to die today. No, no, my God, we want to live, not watch our numbers melt away. We want to have a better world. We want to work. 
we must not die. Zognit kein molas du wirst wohl nicht den Weg. Hoc himlen bleine versteht und bleibt. Kommen weg noch unser Eis gebänkte schon. Zweta beugt an unser Trott mir seinen Do. Kommen weg noch unser Eis gebänkte schon. Zweta beugt an unser Trott mir seinen Do. From land so green with palms so land and bright with snow. We shall be coming with our anguish and the war, and we have spread of our blood fell upon the earth. There our strength and no courage will spring forth, and we have spread of our blood fell upon the earth. There our strength and no courage will spring forth. Never say this is the final road for you, when leaden skies may cover over the days of blue. And now the seventh candle for five million non-Jews who were also murdered during the years of the Shoah, among them the Roma, homosexuals, communists, and disabled people. This is The Nameless Love by John Henry Mackey. Because still on the youthful wing, the scent of innocent beauty lies that touched by a stranger scatters and dies, this love must I tenderly sing. Yet, since you think it a dirty thing, have dragged it through fear and infamy and kept it under lock and key, this love will I freely sing. To love's persecuted, my song I bring, and to the outcasts of our time, since happy or not, this love is mine, this love dare I loudly sing. For our eighth candle, we light this candle for victims of other genocides, knowing that when we say never again, we say never again for us never again for the Jews, never again for anyone. We are missing by Carolyn Torella. Those blue skies look familiar, vapor clouds feathered white. Trees blend with the wind there. Darkness comes with night. Our mountains look the same here, shaped by passing time. Brown slopes, Gently curve here, young feet attempt the climb. Fathers worked the land there, fed the hungry night and day. Mother's voices singing, children, go out and play. Now something there is missing. Joy has left the land. Darkness comes by day now, by John Jaweed's evil hand. Fathers stand and fight there. Death comes anyway. Mothers raped at daybreak. Babies cry all day. The graves are getting deeper, the sky unfurling black. Tears upon the dry land, flesh burns on broken black, broken, broken back. Something there is missing. The compassionate outstretched hand. Whole choirs of voices singing, help them take a stand. What is missing? We are missing. The we who say we care. The we who have the power to help you over there. Oh, 
I will build this world from love And you must build this world from love And if we build this world from love then God will build this world from love. Olam chesed yibam le. I will build this world from hope. And you must build this world from hope. And if we build this world from hope, I Then God will build this world from hope. Olam chesed yivane. I Olam chesed I will build this world from peace. And you must build this world from peace. And if we build this world from peace, then God will build this world from the peace. In a moment, we will begin the ritual of reciting the names of a number of individuals who were killed during the Shoah. Members of our three synagogues will re be reading names from Yad Vashem, the World Holocaust Remembrance Center in Jerusalem. You may also place the names of your own loved ones who were perished in the Holocaust in the chat. We know these are but a few of the millions of beloved souls who perished. And yet by honoring these few, by mentioning their names, by marking how old they were when they died, we remind ourselves of the unique individuality of each person who was lost. This year, as we read the names, you will see photographs on your screen. Recently, Cole Thompson, a renowned fine art photographer, reluctantly joined his family on a visit to Auschwitz. While he was there, he was overcome by emotion and took long exposures of groups who were visiting at the same time. From these particular photographs, he created this powerful series titled The Ghosts of Auschwitz. As we see these images and hear these names, we act as witnesses to both the enormity of the Holocaust, as well as the particular devastation of each individual loss each parent, each child, each sibling, each spouse, cousin, or friend. We'll begin by reading the names. 
Rivka Fersenfeld, age five. Yaakov Eisner, age one. Tereska Herzenberg, age five. Varele Lipchak, age five. Maya Belovitskaya, age six. Maurice Grazka, age seven. Itzak Schnitzer, age 10. Katalina Mag Magya, age 10. Velvel Glushak, age four. Lyumia Yospa, age nine. Next reader, please read their names. Larry Bauer should be going next. Uh, Susanna Goldbrach, age seven. Gucha Robach, age nine. Rochelle Stein Steinmetz, age nine. Cart Kart, Kart, Karchi Markovitz, age six, Herschel Sheck, age nine, Hermina Gross, Sandor Schoenstein, Shlomo Blobstein, Rossi Stern, Israel Lerner, Guta Gorodetsky. Am I am I next? Well, I'll go next. Jill Sh Jill Schuster is next. Oops. You're muted, Jill. Please unmute. Hi. I'm so sorry. Uh, Judith Djokovic, age sixty. Samuel Katz, age 57. Samuel Katz, age 42. Shandor Katz, page 40, age 42. Esther Cohen, age 49. Bluma Cohn, age 58. Marie Cohen, age 43. Roland Cohen, age 22. Jacques Cohn, age 56. Leah Cohn, age 50. Hannah Laub, age 61. Nenny Lazar, age 25. Erno Lautman, age 46. Who is next? David Aaron Frey. Aaron Frey. <clears throat> Israel Deutsch, age nine. Iboyka Wolf, age eight. Rebecca Devere, age four. <coughs> Susa Beer, age eight. Andras Vushesh, age nine. Mikhail Berman, Adolf Schwartz. <coughs> Irene Curtis, Yitzhak Varobechik, Sarah Varobechik, Yaakov Lerner, and I'll add the names of my immediate family, David, my grandparents, David and uh, Mirala Ehrenfried, and other maternal grandparents, Lajos and Giz Gizella Baconye, aunts and uncle, Judith, Rachel, and Meyer. Solomon Kaufman, age seven. Rizid Warmund, age two. Suzanne Recknick, age six. Susanna Magner, age eight. 
Mikkel Ginsberg, age six, Sonia Fridna, age three, Chaim Friedman, Friedman, age 10, Sonia Galpovich, age six, Kamal Kurak, age eight, Peter Venstein, age four. And now my family, Isol and Hannah Chesler, my great grandparents, Rackamills Chesler, Titska Chesler, Oriel Osher Chesler, Chaim and Minna Chesler, Yitzhak Chesler, Shlomo Chesler, Model Chesler, Chaya Chesler, Tuvia Chesler, Shulmit Chesler, Yaakov Chesler, Asia Chesler, Mordecai Chesler, Yaakov Kagan, Reuven Kagan, age 12, the Attenson family, the Silbermoon family, and the rest of the Kagan family. Victor uh, uh, Gruenwald, age six, Avika Heller, age two, Georgie Fellner, age four, Aaron Rosenberg, age nine, Judith Brumberg, age seven, Leova Gosman, age two, Mashka Krikstansky, age eight, Mikhail Goldschmidt, age six, Reuven Krigstein, age one, and Yaakov Gadesin, five. Uh, Reuben. Is that okay? Reuben Banish. Sorry, this is Jan Bean. It's Reuben Banish, age nine. Binyamin Altman. Age nine, Hanna Borchovich, age nine, Lea Markovich, age eight, Yosef Endig, age seven, Yechiel Potruch, age nine, Yaakov Ehrenreich, age six, Wojtek Scheinwechsler, age six, uh, age seven, sorry, Maurice Erbstman, age seven, and Asher Issa, age nine. Ilya Fayer, age three. Josika Schwartz, age eight. Moses Skolewski, age eight. Pierre Golzer, age 10. Abram Klavnuk, Klaptovich, age six, Hermina Fried, Hermine Stern, Elspeth Stern, Johanna Strauss, Oskar Strauss, Betty Italdi Yander. I grieve for lost members of my family. I will mention three fam families who came from Nuremberg in Germany, the same city in which I was born and raised. My uncle Max Freund and his wife Bella, who were murdered in the Belsec death camp. My dearest aunt, my Tante Lina, who lived around the corner from us and died in Theresienstadt. She was totally blind. My Aunt Lena's daughter, Irene Sanger, her husband Siegfried Sanger, and their nine-year-old beautiful daughter, Anneliese. I might mention that the husband was a Jewish officer in the German military, and he thought for sure he would be protected. He was not. They all died in the Sobibor death camp on April 3rd, 1942. May their memory be for a blessing. Shlema Feigelman, Esther Steiner, Marcel Steiner, Josef Reich, Gittel Reich, Regina Fuchs, Helen Laufer, Maurizio, Maurizio Sporn, Sari Adler, Ella Weiss. Also my grandmother, 
Clara Buchsbaum, who died in Auschwitz, my Aunt Gretel, my Uncle Hugo, and my cousin Susanna, all Spitzers, died in Treblinka. Susanna, 11 years old. Muncie Hertz, 49. Marta Herzog, 33. Leo Wellish, 56. Anshel Camille, 30. Shlomo Kirshen, 52. Jenny Rappaport, 42. Victor Schwartz, 60. Gina Standfeld, 62, Vyga Stein, 21, Sidonie Stein, 90, and my grandparents, Henriette Reich, Ferdinand Reich, and Heinrich Sturz, my dear Aunt Lily Reich Hirschenhauser, my dear Aunt Marta Sturz and her son George Sturz, who was five, my dear Uncle Alexander Sturz, 38, his wife, Roji, and their child, Vera, who was six. My late husband, Peter's grandparents, Max Lederman, Mina Lederman, his uncle, Walter Lederman, and his aunt, Hilda Lederman. May their memories be a blessing. Anna Rosenberg, 45. Golda Wolfson, 21. Ben Sion Gurbik, 49, Marshall Gurbik, 47, Yanko Ed, Isaac Ed, Eidelman, 42, Yuli Bai, 27, Ver Herskovic, 31, Helena Kassler, 18, Naum Roisman, 45, Otto Sternlich, 40. Erwin Sternlich, 45, Alfred Sternlich, 49, Ar uh, Arnos Brodavka, 29, and my grandparents, Moshe and Hannah Melman, my uncles Akiva, 16, Red, 28, Ihezkel, 26, my aunt Zelda, aunt Zelda Frida and Golda, my aunt Rivka and Levi Goncharski and their daughter Batya, age one, two, the Melman family, the Feigenbaum families, and, and the Magerkevich families. All of them, with exception for my aunt Rivka, died in Treblinka in October, on Sukkot 1942. Who is the next reader? Not sure, probably me. Leibel Pollock, age eight. Rachel Knell, age eight. Bronya Kalman, age seven. Stella Gluck, age five. Cyrilla Kneller, age nine. Israel Hamill, Maria Adler, Catalin Schwartz, Morik Schwartz, Ita Yufa, Esther Beigel, and my grandparents, Marcus and Ida Rosenblum, my grandmother, Rosa Zexer, my aunt, Shulamit Zexer, age eight, and the rest of the Rosenblum, Lakaniki, Zexer, and Lizak families.
Yom HaShoah falls around the time of year when we read the Torah portion, when two of Aaron's sons are consumed by fire. When this happens, the Torah tells us that Aaron was silent. There are times when there are no explanations that can help us understand tragedy. The Holocaust is simply beyond our ability to make, make meaning. There are times when the most appropriate response is silence. It's important to light candles, recite prayers, sing songs, tell stories, and recite the names of those who've died. And we also need time to be silent in the face of horror and injustice that is beyond understanding. We now take a moment of silence to honor the memories of those whose names are recited today and all the others who died. If you are able to rise, please rise for the memorial prayer. Tachat kan fe ha shechina, bemalot kedoshim utorim, kezohar ki amasirim. Et nishmot kol achinu bene Israel shnit bochu bashoa. Anashim, Nashim, Vatav, Shemnech Neku, Shemis Rufu, Vashenehergu, Shemim Suru, Et Nafsham, Al-Kiddush HaShem Anna Baal HaRachamim Hastirem B'Tsel G'nafecha Le'olamim Utsoror, bitsoror, ha chaim et nishamatam, it et nishamotam. Adonai hu nachalatam. Vyanuchu shalom al mishkavam. Amen.
God full of mercy, dwelling on high, grant proper rest beneath the wings of the Shekhinah, amid the ranks of the holy and pure who are illuminated like the brilliance of the heavens. To the souls of our brothers and sisters slain in the Shoah, men, women, and children who were slaughtered, who were burned and destroyed. We sanctify God's name, even as we acknowledge their souls were torn from them. Please, source of mercy, shelter them beneath your wings for eternity and bind their souls in the memory of the living. Adonai is their inheritance. May they rest in peace. And let us say, Amen. Recite a special Kaddish. The names of many of the camps where those souls perished. Yitgadal, Auschwitz, the Yitkadash, Lotz, Shemei Raba, Ponar, the Alma Divra Hirute, Babiyar, the Amlich Malchute, Maidanak, the Chaychon of Yomechon, Birkenau, the Chayedachol Beit Yisrael, Kovno. Ba'agala uvizman kariv, Yanowska, Vimru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevarach Lam Ome Almaya. Yitvarach Vishtabach Theresenstadt. Vit Paar Vit Romam Buchenwal. Vit Nase Vit Hadar. Treblinka, Vitale Vitalal, Vilna, Shemei de Kudusha, Bergen Belsen, Brichu Leela, Malthausen, Minkol Birchata Vishirata, Dachau, Tushbechata Venechemata, Minsk, Da Amiran Bealma, Warsaw, the Imru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya. The Chayim Alenu Val Kol Yisrael. The Imru, Amen. O Se Shalom Bimromav. Hu Ya Se Shalom. Alenu Val Kol Yisrael. Val Kol Yoshve Tevel. The Imru, Amen. Se shalom bim roma, uya se shalom alim ve alko Israel yosh ve tevel vimeru amen ve himeru amen ve himeru amen. And may you find peace, and may you find peace, and may you find peace, Amen. And may you find love, and may you find love, and may you find love, Amen. 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 Amen, 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 amen. O se shalom bim roma, uya se shalom alein, ve alko Israel yosh ve tevel bim
we're going to show uh, a choral video that our, our three choirs and our singers uh, worked on uh, sometime during the pandemic. We worked together as a community to produce this beautiful choral video. Um, the music is by Bacha Lavin. The song is We Rise. Uh, I arranged it for our choirs. And um, it is a song of community. It's a song of activism. It's a song of courage and bravery. It's a song of heroism. And above all, it is a song of rem remembrance. And so we show this contemporary song of activism and remembrance uh, today for Yom HaShoah. And uh, it's quite fitting. And uh, I'm just going to unmute so I can. Uh, In hope and prayer, we find ourselves here. In hope and prayer, we ride here. In hope and prayer, we find ourselves here. In hope and prayer, we ride here. Oh, 